Hi everyone, my name is Rose and today's quick tutorial is going to cover how to save your 3D model once you've created it. So we'll begin in the main 3D Slicer workspace where I've already segmented a skull and an endocast representing the brain space and converted them into 3D models which you can see over here on the left hand side. I have my skull model and my endocast model. And if you want to learn how to convert your segmentations into 3D models, check out this video in the upper right hand corner. So to save your 3D model, you'll simply click on the save icon in the upper left hand corner. And my project is defaulted to save as a medical reality bundle. So the first thing I want to do is click that present or package icon to uncouple all those elements of my project. Then I want to click on this checkmark icon to deselect everything except for those two models that I want to save, the skull and endocast models. Now these models are defaulted to save as VTK files, so I'm going to choose what format I want to save them in today, and I'm going to choose an STL file. And the last step is just to decide where you want to save them on your computer. So you can either assign both models to the same folder by clicking this icon, or if you want to assign them to go to different places, you can individually assign the destination by clicking those ellipses icons to the right. And when you're done, you'll simply click Save. And that's it. You've just saved your 3D models to your computer as STL files. So to double check that, I can just open up my Finder window. And now on my desktop, I have that data folder with an endocast and skull STL inside. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If so, check out our other segmentation and 3D modeling lessons on the Daily On YouTube channel. And before I go, I just want to say a big thank you to 3D Slicer. Their team made this awesome software free for us all to use. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.